It is August 13th, Tuesday, and I am cycle day 12, and I have messaged the donor this morning, and uh, he hasn't gotten back to me yet, so I'm a little nervous because it's like 109 now <laughs> in the afternoon, but he's also two hours behind me too, so it's only um, 11 o'clock his time. But he's very good about getting back when I message him. So uh, I feel very confident that he will. I mean, I messaged him yesterday. And so he knows that I'm wanting the shipment to go out today. But I always say I'll, I'll verify or confirm tomorrow, which was today. So hopefully he will send that out today. And I will get the shipment tomorrow. And I will inseminate tomorrow, which will be ovulation day. Assuming my body continues with the three-day uh, ovulation after the last set of pills of my letrozole. My letrozole was finished on Sunday, so uh, Wednesday will be day three. And that's just for me, not everybody. But my body, I'll ovulate three days after I'm done taking the pills. Anyway, just for fun, I did the NLH strip just to see what it would look like. Yesterday, it was a 1.04. And so I'm just curious to see if it's gone up and if maybe it's a little bit darker than the control light. So let's see what it looks like. And it is. Okay. It's not like a big, big, big die stealer, but it's, it's, it's darker. It's a little bit more intense. So I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll, I'll uh, show you and take a picture. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, tomorrow's the day, so but I will not be able to inseminate until probably 7 p.m. So I hope that I ovulate sometime later afternoon just to get a little closer to my uh, insemination time. So anyway, so I will take another test tomorrow and we'll see what the line looks like if it's even darker than this one. But um, yeah, so let's see what this looks like first. Okay, so here's what it looks like, and it actually only got a 1.08, so not much higher than yesterday, but either way, it's okay. Um, I'm expecting to ovulate tomorrow, and I'll just check back tomorrow and let you know uh, what happens tomorrow. It is August 14th, and I am cycle day 13, and this is ovulation day. And um, <clears throat> it's mutilated, but this is uh, the clear blue digital with the 10 sticks. And I'm just going to do this just to see if it just goes straight to positive or what. I haven't bought one of these in a long time because <clears throat> they quit working for me a long time ago. Um, see, it comes in the packaging. Um, they quit working for me a long time ago because of my high FSH levels as I have entered perimenopause. Well, I entered perimenopause about... I think it actually started happening shortly after my daughter was born. <clears throat> and so, um, anyway, and, uh, but these still worked for me for three years after and stopped working for me pretty much, I believe a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago now, because <clears throat> it's been a total of five years. So anyway, um, and I'm just taking this just to see, it might be an empty circle or it might go straight to positive. Um, it will not always, um, I've made so many videos on using these clear blue digitals. If you ever wanna watch those, you can. So as you can see, uh, it goes in this way. So arrow to arrow and you pop it in there and you'll see the icon, all three icons will flash and then it will go to the little stick icon. And so you dip it for tw uh, 15 seconds. <clears throat> and I do have my sample here. I meant to, okay, it didn't, okay. It's best to take the cap off before you, okay, see, okay. Oh, it saved it, oh my gosh, it didn't error. It's best to take the cap off before you uh, and then put the stick in because sometimes when you pull the cap off it yanks the stick back out and sometimes the test will error then you're kind of like yeah so anyway I uh, got a little jar of my sample here and one two three and fourteen fifty uh, I'll talk while, like, I have to go back to work now. Um, I uh, am having a really bad issue right now. 
um, my sperm were supposed to come today and UPS, because of a flight delay, has redirected my sperm to Seattle, Washington. I live in Florida and um, so it went the opposite direction. Now it's saying that the sperm are coming tomorrow when my eggs should most likely be starting to die. However, my eggs do live for the full 24 hours. I, I'm glad I know that, but it was an expensive way to find that out. Basically, I've been doing frozen sperm for the longest time. Um, I, do, I have a, 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 live do a live donor, um, a fresh donor now, but back in the day, I was um, doing, I was buying frozen sperm from the sperm bank. Uh, I, I was able to use my daughter's sperm donor for like two years after she was born before he finally ran out and he quit donating. And so when he ran out, that was it for him. This takes five minutes, by the way. So uh, anyway, I didn't, um, so then I did find other donors, but there were times where I would ovulate and FedEx was not due to come until the following morning. And so there was one specific time that I inseminated, and this is with IUI sperm, by the way. This is, there's, uh, there are two different vials that you can inseminate with at home, and not just ICI. That is intercervical insemination, meaning you uh, put it at the cervix and you uh, squirt it in there, and then the sperm make their way through the cervix. IUI is when you go to the doctor and they put the tube through your cervix directly into your uterus. Well, both uh, the IUI sperm is washed sperm, but it still totally works. And so, you know, it really doesn't matter. Um, they, they'll, they'll say that it does, but it does not because I have done it too many times to count. <clears throat> and I've gotten pregnant too many times to count to um, even argue that whole thing. Um, IUI sperm totally work with at-home insemination. And I actually ovulated before I was able to get the IUI sperm in there. And I still got pregnant. I still got a positive pregnancy test having um, inseminated 17 hours after I felt the explosion out of my ovary, uh, which was, you know, the ovulation. <clears throat> 17 hours later, I still got positive pregnancy tests and it ended in a chemical pregnancy and I've had nothing but chemical pregnancies ever since uh, trying again after giving birth to my daughter. I've messaged the donor and I told him and he kind of gave this sad face like, oh, I'm so sorry. He hasn't written any words, but he's just sending emoji emotions. And um, I said, you know, I haven't ovulated yet. There's still a chance if I, if I don't ovulate until later this evening, um, it is still possible to get pregnant if the sperm arrive tomorrow around 10 a.m. So at this point, um, it is still possible. It's 1.14 p.m. If I do feel an explosion or cramping later this evening, um, I, I, there's a chance that I can still get pregnant from this. However, are the sperm gonna be okay tomorrow? So that's in the package for two solid days. He did tell me one time a while back that a girl did leave it on the shelf over uh, for an extra day or it didn't get to her for an extra day. I don't think he remembers telling me that, but I remember always give, being very specific saying, you know, wanting to know how long uh, the sperm lasts and if he has any proof as to how long the sperm can live undisturbed in the packaging. It's still blinking. It should be coming up pretty soon. Um, it might be an empty circle. Uh, if it's an empty circle, I'm going to take another test with the same urine. Um, I'm going to give, he just messaged me. I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to take another test with the same urine and if it's an empty circle, it might be flashing. If it's just flashing, maybe my ovulation will be delayed. Um, but as far as I know, and with my high FSH and the perimenopause, this might just be positive because um, I just have a high LH all the time. I've been taking omega-3s to try to lower my FSH uh, to not be so elevated. 
and um, I got a, and it's a, okay. So yeah, it's a solid smiley face. So <clears throat> yeah. So a lot of people think that it's gonna be an empty circle every time. If you are full blown high LH and you are full, full on surging, um, and it is very strong, you are going to go straight to a smiley face. So anyway, um, and then I'll let you know what the line looks like. Yeah, uh, the line, the test line is darker than the control line. So anyway, I have a static smiley face. I got to go back to work. Um, this is not good and I don't know what to do, but hope and pray that the sperm are okay and I will let you know tomorrow when it comes and how insemination goes. I do not have the microscope anymore, so I can't even check to see if the sperm are still moving. So it's all gonna be uh, on faith and hope and prayer. So anyway, uh, let's see what happens tomorrow and we'll go from there. Okay, so it is a little after 10 a.m. and both packages have come. Uh, through the tracking number, I was able to see that this one is the new one, the one that he sent last night. And so that is the freshest one. And then this one was the one sent on Tuesday. So uh, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait 15 minutes after doing this one. I am going to do this one, but I'm going to take the drops that come from each syringe and look at them under the microscope and see how well or how dead these might be. Um, they might still be alive and okay. So either way, um, this is the one I'm counting on. This is the fresh one. So I'm gonna do this one and then look at it under a microscope with the drop that uh, is left over in the syringe and see how it compares to this one uh, and see see what they look like. Okay, also I am home today. I don't work today, which is great. So anyway, um, this just went off. It's just stopped processing and uh, it is still a smiley face, but uh, for any of you who are new to my channel or don't really understand what's going on, um, it's probably gonna stay positive anyway just because I am in perimenopause and all of my hormones are very, very high. Um, so FSH is high and uh, LH is usually high all the time. Um, but I did uh, get a lower reading, a normal reading on cycle day six, last cycle. I think it was last cycle. That was really great. Um, but golly, and I thought this was kind of diluted urine. But check that out. I inseminated this morning one was 10.30, one was 11.30, I think. Yeah. So anyway, because um, it is 12 o'clock noon now, and the sperm came at 10 o'clock, and they both packages came. So what happened was, there was a plane delay for the first package, and it said it wasn't going to be delivered until the next day, which would be today. So it was supposed to arrive yesterday, which I had planned as ovulation day, due to the letrozole I took. And so when I stop taking letrozole, I ovulate on day three. So that was yesterday. So anyway, I messaged the donor and we messaged back and forth and he called me last night to say that, you know, he was sorry and, you know, cause it's not his fault. He has nothing to do with UPS and the way they do things. And um, he said it was a long shot in getting a refund of the money. But he said, do you want a fresh shipment sent out tonight? And I said, well, I, you know, I, I can't really afford that. But through some jokes of his own, he, he likes to joke around a lot, but through his jokes, um, it was clear that he was not going to charge me for a second shipment. So he did that. He sent out, and he's on vacation, by the way, which is crazy. I wonder if he travels with all of his equipment. It's like, because <laughs> he wraps it in a bunch of saran wrap and aluminum foil. He has an ice pack that he puts in there. And then, you know, a standard box that he uses every time. So all these, so, and then the syringe and the solution that he puts it in. And he had all that with him on vacation, apparently. He's very dedicated to this, I'll, let you, I'll tell you that much. But, and he's just so kind and generous. And so he did send me a shipment last night 
And so both the late one and the new one came together. And so uh, now it's interesting because uh, the, the, here's the thing. So the digital is still positive yet. Look at the lightness of my LH strip. So that is the easy at home strip. And that's not positive, but the digital is positive. That's why I don't recommend, if, if it really matters, if you don't have your sperm living with you at home, uh, you know, your husband or your boyfriend or whatever, um, and you can't just have intercourse regularly, and it really matters when you, when, if you're inseminating like me, yeah. So anyway, um, because look, this is clearly negative. This is clearly negative. And my digital pink is very much positive. This is saying I'm still having my surge. This is saying that it's no longer having a surge. Anyway, um, but do what you want, do what you feel comfortable with. When I was younger and everything was normal, uh, and of course, when I got pregnant with my daughter, um, this is the test that I relied on because I was inseminating with donor sperm and it mattered. So anyway, that's that. And then um, I wanna show you this. So to see if the sperm are dead or alive in that second, in the, in the, the older shipment, I did get another one of these microscopes. I did get a microscope last fall and I showed you the sperm last fall and it was really fun and cool. Um, but then I sent it back because it was really chintzy and kind of, kind of uh, hard to use. So I bought this one just to um, check and see if uh, the second batch, um, if they were all dead or not, and see what the, cause I'm, I'm gonna tap a drop out of the syringe, of each syringe. I have them marked so I know which is which. And I just wanna see which is, you know, which one survived. And if the, if the older one, had any alive in it at all or if they were all dead at least in the drop that i will have and um, i'll tell you the solution was a little chunky it was a little chunky in the syringe it did get warm so i don't know we'll see what happens we'll see what it looks like okay well this microscope is a total bust i've read that you need up to 400 times but the um, the microscope that i used when i showed you the sperm last fall went up to 1200 and so that's what I need to see the sperm. So I can see little dots swirling, so I can see that much, So, but not enough to show actual sperm bodies like I did last time. So um, I believe both samples actually had live sperm because I saw, you know, they were like tiny little needle point dots that were s kind of swirling and moving. So. I think both samples were still okay. The LH is gonna probably stay high. I'll probably test again later today or even tomorrow morning just to see. I probably won't include that in this video. Um, I'm excited. I am going to call tomorrow 1DPO and I will see you uh, in the next testing video. So I will see you then. Hope you're all doing well. Bye.